Hello, welcome to 3 and 3. This is probably fairly unexpected, <laughs> um, but for whatever reason, this is the game that I've chosen to do to replace the way. There were a few puzzles in it that reminded me of some stuff that I saw in this game, and I thought, hey, I haven't played this in a long time. Let's do an LP of it. Uh, so this is a game that I've played through a few times. Um, it came out in 1990 for the Macintosh, and it's by Cliff Johnson, who is pretty much a legendary puzzle designer. Um, so this is a super interesting puzzle game that, again, I've gone through it a few times, so I'll know the answers to some stuff, but I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of it. So here we go. Somewhere in corporate America. Okay, just three more to go and we're out of here. 695 should be 795, got it. 115 should be 125, got it. And fix that three at the top. Which one? Here, I'll do it. No, I got it. <laughs> Two player sped cheating. At that exact same moment. A power surge happened. And so... <laughs> this is running kind of slower than I expected. It'll be fine, though. I remember this going slightly faster. This is how spreadsheets work, right? Inside the computer? Hmm. Rounded off again. I simply must get transferred out of the spreadsheet. And into a nice, cozy quarterly report. This is the main character, by the way. <laughs> My, that was quick. See? I told her it was a it was just a typo. Shh, here she comes now. Computers are so tedious. That's not right. The three has been banished. Somewhere. This is an outrage. Who's in charge here? Hello? Anyone here? Is that entirely necessary? What's your problem, anyway? Problem? I solve problems. Oh, really? Can you send me back to the numbers? Numbers? <laughs> numbers? I say, send me to the numbers, and it drops me down here? Great, just great. All right, so negative one plus one. All right, so first puzzle. Uh, does this describe it? Use the elevators to transport the three to the other side. So, uh, game layout. All of these are puzzles, so each one of these is going to be a uh, unique puzzle scene, like this one, uh, other than Prologue, which we just saw. Uh, so I'm in the lift right now. Okay, cool. Um, so this is a fairly extensive game, 
There are variations on this. Let's see, the lift, lift off, lift up, lift a finger, lift and separate. So I can freely switch between these at any time, um, but if I do them in sequence, it'll unlock some more, and um, there, there is a sequence to this first little bit. So I don't remember exactly how this works. Negative one turns into two, apparently. So click, and they do that. I think there's a way to do this like super quick. You can line all of them up and just do everything at once. Um, there's certainly a smarter way to do it than what I'm doing here. Can I, if I were to reset like this, that doesn't reset. Can't I reset this puzzle? There's no way to reset a puzzle. There's no way to reset a puzzle. Okay, uh, fine. So these are all plus one, those are all minus one. So kind of just click and still till stuff happens. <laughs> uh, okay, so align on either way, and I'll go either backward or forward. Got it. There we go. And you can do that. Do a whole bunch at once. Will this ever line up there? No. So they can only line up in certain spots. There we go. You, go get out of my way. Man, you are really in my way. There's definitely a strategy to most of these, probably all of them. Um, hey, what? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Just my emulator being silly, I think. Okay. Come on, don't give up on me now. Useless machines. I should probably play in a different screen resolution. I'm just noticing there's a bunch of wasted space. All that work for this? No doubt about it. The system's gone haywire. I suppose I'll have to fix this myself. Okay, right. So how does this work? This is a... So this is a word game. A color, bird, fruit, architects, drawing, factory. I think if I type in things here... Yeah, there are special letters here. Half a notion. A puzzle compounded may leave you dumbfounded. Okay. So if I just type in all A's here... I think the three has... this is harder than it looks. An aristocrat. Uh, I think I remember... Oh, yeah. Now, why... okay. This is a puzzle I remember, but I want to figure out... All right, a color. Uh, okay, right. So, I don't know how you're supposed to work this out, but what I recall is a color that doesn't have any special colored letters in it is blue. Okay, so I guess you're just supposed to try a bunch of things there. Now all of these are prefixed with blue. An aristocrat is blue blood. High priced stock, I believe is... This is a term I have never encountered anywhere except in this game, but I remember blue chip apparently means high priced stock. Factory workers, blue collar. Country music, blue grass, that's not entirely accurate, but close enough, I guess. Blue J, blue print, a word for this, blue ribbon, blue berry. Ah, oh, we're too late. I told you to stop spelling all those adjectives. Creative this, subjective that, perceptive, inventive, sensitive. You gotta stop, you gotta quit hanging out around those artsy fonts. Well, it didn't matter anyway. None of the words contained a V or a W. Really now? J could have been way, and Barry could have been very. Uh, very has only one R. Says who? 
And besides, very wouldn't work with blue, now would it? What's blue got to do with it? Listen, why don't you guys find an O and make a vowel? I have to get back to the numbers. The numbers? What sort of letter was that, anyway? Right, so the running gag here is everybody in the computer system thinks that three... <laughs> I didn't mean back here. Everybody in the computer system thinks that three is a, is a letter. Um... Almost all of them. Uh, okay, right. So lift off. Use the elevator. Start with the other side. So what's the different mechanic here? Um, so if there's no puzzle reset, I just have to deal with whatever move I make. I think this one misaligns lifts if you happen to line them up. Yeah. If you line them up before three is going somewhere, then they do that. But if you can line them up at the same time, they're fine. So that's a way to offset stuff. Still don't really know what my strategy should be here. So I guess I'll just click until it works. Uh, okay, so with that offset, there we go, that's useful. Hey. Okay. That's inconvenient. Does this change its phase at all? No. All right, so negative two, negative three. All right, so this is lined up annoyingly with that one. I guess the way you change the phase is by uh, aligning with another platform. Okay, so let's do that. Somehow. Oh, that'll do. Cool. Cool. I'm sure there is a pattern here that I could be recognizing better than I am. <laughs> but I think this is just the way that I've always done this, and it works eventually. Okay, salt. Uh-oh. <laughs> Paul from Gase. I'm telling you, ain't ain't a word because ain't ain't in the dictionary. Ain't most certainly is. It's a substandard contraction for is not, are not, has not, and have not. Where's the apostrophe, then? There's no nutritional value in a misspelt word. It's misspelled, not misspelt. It can be spelled either way. No, that can't be correct. One plus one can't equal both two and three. Who's a linguistics expert? Don't know. She just arrived. Really? I wonder if she knows how to spell our correct word. Your correct word? Ah, a challenge of logic over letters. Oh, this one has a reset. In three moves, rearrange the letters to spell the correct new word. The letter atop the elevator determines what kind of move will occur when that elevator is selected. It does? Each elevator has three possible moves. What? Okay, right here. Which is it? Satin or stain? Okay. So, right, I think... <laughs> That's right. So this is a... So T moves one to the right. Not always, though. This moves it to the left? What? The letter up top the elevator determines what kind of move will occur when that elevator is selected. Except it's different. S moves... Here, here, and then here? Anyway, I remember what the word is, but I don't understand these mechanics, really. I think they're intentionally nonsensical. Hmm. Yeah, so this is kind of trial and error -y. Uh... All right, let me see if I can at least get closer to what I want. So she says satin or stain. Not that. So if I do A, that moves you over here. If I do A again, that just reverts it. Okay. T? No. 
A stain is the word I want. Uh, N A. There we go. Stain, huh? Yes, a saint who has fallen from grace is stained. Simple logic. Q E D. I don't entirely understand what I just did. <laughs> That's going to be a running theme. Some of these just don't really make sense unless you chart out all the moves, and even then they still don't make sense. Simple, yes. Correct, no. Since when do we have only one correct word? We don't. I just hate a know-it-all. Predictable, really. <laughs> Alright, so lifts again. Uh... Each one of these has a different mechanic. This looks the same so far. What's different about you? Uh, if I move the elevator that's ahead of the three, the other one behind creeps back up on her. Okay. Fair enough. You, get out of here. I'm sure there are clever ways I could use that to my advantage. But I don't really remember them. Okay. Uh, can't make those... Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, okay, so I can do this and that. That's fine. You go here, you go there, and that's great. You go down, you come back somehow. How, though? See, when I'm in this situation, what am I actually supposed to do? Can I align these? Go away. Hmm. So I guess the idea is just to use... Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This may have been a terrible choice for an LP. It's possible. <laughs> Just because of... Because I do remember some of these puzzles take some... pencil and paper sort of stuff to actually figure out. Which is fine. I have no problem with doing that. It's just going to be a bit tedious. The early ones can just be blundered through the way I'm doing this. Um, okay, that's fine. Good. Good. If I'm aligned with both front and back, she always goes back. Uh. Okay. I don't know what the logic is for which way the platforms go. If they're, it might just be random. Okay, cool. Thanks, boys, but I'm going the other way. Oh boy, one of these again. More missing letters, I suppose. So where are the clues, anyway? Locate the clues below. Enter the correct words. Okay, right, so this is like a... Find the pixel sort of thing. NTT. TDM. XTC. DAT. NME. NRG. So what this is telling me is... Entity. What does she have to say? How to get myself into these things. Ecstasy. Tedium. Deity. Energy. And enemy. Okay. I hate to admit it, but this is a lot more interesting than keeping track of the petty cash. And a lot more frustrating. Oh, joy and rapture. Alright, what's the gimmick here? This 
looks the same so far. But there's something different I know. Uh, okay, so it does the opposite of the last one. If I move the back elevator, the other one moves away. Uh, oh boy. Uh, now, that feels like it could be used very much to my advantage. For example, if I were to... Well, no, I can't, can't do what I wanted to do there. <laughs> it's real easy to get back to the left now. So you go away. I'm waiting for a situation to occur where this could actually come in handy. So I can avoid going backward like that. So if you went down to and you went up to, there we go. Something like that. Uh, you go away. There we go. And right, so here I can do this and uh, do that again. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, come down here. Sure. Sure. Uh, that's not as convenient as it could be. Hey, now. <laughs> really. This emulator does some weird things sometimes where it will not... Always register my clicks. Okay, close. There we go. Next time I'm taking the stairs. <laughs> this, that, and the other. Is it a beast? Is it fruit? Is it stone? No, no, and no. More confused letters, I see. So let's see, how long does this sequence go on? The lift, half an ocean, lift off, fall from grace, lift up, action speak louder, lift a finger, this, that, and the other, lift and separate. Okay, so it's just two more puzzles left in this uh, intro sequence, and then I think it just kind of opens up to go wherever. That's what I remember. What is this, 20 questions? It must be beast, it must be fruit, it must be stone. Uh, so you might recognize those three categories of things as, oh, Boy, that's right. This is a really confusing sort of... Let's see. Isn't there a way to... Um... All right, so inconvenient thing about this. Can I... Okay, there we go. Um... So using a modifier key, I can go backwards. Each one of these rotates the letters in a specific way. So all of them in that sequence do the same thing. Oh, actually, it's simpler than I thought. Okay, so there are only... Oops. There are only three zones here. So basically I can rotate this and those, this and those, or all of this. Okay, let's work on animal. I could do that like this, for example. Animal. Okay. Then vegetable could be done like this. Oops. Uh, veg. Veg. Whoa, wait, that's not right. This is confusing. <laughs> um, I want to do this forward. Forward goes backward, apparently. <laughs> Alright, I need to get an A from somewhere. So do this, that, that, and then I have an A. Oops. Veg. -dub. 
Oh. Lamnir is not mineral. Okay, so you need to be turned into mineral. The way to do that... So how close are you if I do this? Not extremely far off. So those need to swap. Those need to swap and those need to swap. So I need to perform a bunch of two-letter swaps. Okay, so how would I do that? So if I were to stick N in here, rotate this way, stick I in the... Uh, Stick I in there, rotate the other way. I've accomplished very little. And I've gotten a V in here. That's not what I want. Um, what I need to do... Um, what I need to do is, for one thing, not disrupt my vegetables so much. Although that's kind of unavoidable. Um, so let's see here. What I need to do is take the eye out, move it somewhere for safekeeping, switch the N in, go back to the eye, take the eye, then take the N back. Now, I think what I could probably also do. Uh, no, I can't. Never mind. All right, so let's see what happens if I just do this. So min. Maybe I should just concern myself with spelling mineral and then fix vegetable afterward. Let's try that. There's no R in vegetable, so I can do this. Miner. Uh, there is an A, though. But doing this does not disrupt that A in vegetable. Okay. Mineral. Okay. Vlegatabe. So what I need to do... Is just swap a couple of things around. Okay, so the fact that these share E's and A's I think is important. I need to use those to swap stuff intelligently around. Um... And L. L is also shared. So if I were to rotate this L this way, then take the V, and then what? Then trade it for this L. There we go. That's close. Okay, so then let me swap this E for an L. Move the L. Uh, move the L. Move the E back in. And there we go. Well, it's not animal. It's not vegetable. It's not mineral. And I am not an it. Is it a he? Is it a she? XPRNC. So um, there are these little clues that will show up after several of these puzzles that all kind of come together into a big meta puzzle at uh, Inside Track. That's the one. It has a keyboard shortcut. <laughs> um, but that comes much later. I think that's a clue either for that or something leading up to it. Anyway, so yeah, these are these little bits of extra stuff after a puzzle is solved are actually important to pay attention to. Ha! This should be easy. So the trick with this one is that uh, where you click goes to the opposite side. And if you know that trick, you can just do this. If not, it's much more tedious. And good riddance. Maybe now I can concentrate on the business at hand. being followed by something. I didn't see any reason to go through the tedium of doing that the normal way, because if you click here, um, 
It doesn't do what you expect. This one moves down or whatever. Everything that was lined up misaligns and it just takes a bunch of time. Anyway, so that is sort of, yeah, select another scene. <laughs> so that's the sequence of puzzles that's led to from, from the prologue. Yeah, after this, basically, I just pick one of these that is available, unsolved. I guess that's the unsolved puzzle symbol. Some of the, some sequence of these unlocks more of those in two, three, four, and five. Um, but yeah, I just have my pick of whatever puzzle I want to do. Okay, uh, so next time I think I will uh, change my resolution so that so that I don't have so much wasted space around here. I should have thought of doing that now. And yeah, I'll see you again for uh, the rest of these puzzles. <laughs>